The Senate Select Committee on Housing has been on a mission for uh, the better part of six months since we were first we first had our first hearing in August of 2023. Over the course of six months, we facilitated 12 live streamed hearings across the state to hear firsthand from our constituents. We heard over 35 hours of testimony from more than 200 witnesses, and we conducted various site visits across the state to explore Ohio's current housing inventory and better understand what the role that the state can play in this very important housing issue. We are here uh, because obviously home prices are incredibly high and rents are incredibly high. And I know this because just five years ago when I was in the house, I felt like housing was one of those issues that was just kind of on the periphery. It wasn't talked about as much. Well, interest rates were a lot lower then, housing was a lot more affordable, uh, and so it just wasn't the issue that it is today. I am immensely proud to announce the unveiling of this comprehensive report, which not only identifies key, key challenges uh, within housing in Ohio, but also offers uh, actual solutions to ensure that every member of our community uh, has access to safe, affordable housing. There's another committee reviewing this, uh, dealing with uh, property taxes. Uh, that committee, uh, I think, uh, is going to hopefully give us some recommendations as well because that is causing uh, a lot of people, especially in my district, uh, they can't afford those houses anymore. Uh, they have to sell them because the property taxes have gone up substantially. So we want to create, um, through the Ohio Department of Development, an Ohio housing dashboard that we are able to actually monitor and track when we do make good decisions in housing policy so that we can track the key metrics of the data related to the market to see what's getting better and if our efforts are actually working. Because we have to be data driven in everything that we do. There's a six month set of goals. There's probably a two year set of goals. There's a five year and a 10 year. You know, what do we want this to look like five years from now? Um, and that because largely what we've done as with a lot of public policy uh, is things just sort of get added to the, and you look up at the bulletin board and you can't really read anything or change anything because there's, so we're going to reorganize the bulletin board here and say what's working, what's not. We also need to look at removing barriers to housing in our current government regulatory scheme. And we need to use our influence to increase access to affordable housing as much as possible. But this is what the state should not do. We should not disrupt the free market with burdensome housing regulation. We firmly believe in the power of a robust free market, understanding that government intervention should only complement rather than replace market dynamics.